And political turmoil and violence in Ukraine's east are not the only challenges facing the country right now. Energy supplies are a major concern, and Kiev has decided to use U.S. nuclear fuel at its atomic plants, which, as you can see here, constitute a major part of the country's power grid. Artis Rina Galushko explains now why many fear Kiev is jeopardizing safety for politics. When a lucrative opportunity arises, it seems distance is no object for American companies. U.S. nuclear behemoth Westinghouse has been granted an extension on its deal in Ukraine. The company supplies nuclear rod assemblies for plants, but could have its sights set on a much hotter prize. This move by Westinghouse is really to secure not just a fuel contract, which will go on incidentally for many years, it's not only to secure a fuel contract, but it's to put its foot in the door to build a fuel fabrication plant in East Ukraine. And that's the most important thing. That's what they're after. For decades, Ukraine relied on Russia in all matters atomic, but the West didn't like being frozen out of the relationship. The European Union felt there was too much dependency upon the Russian Federation for the Ukrainian energy situation. And it was trying to wean the Ukrainians off of Russian technology, whether that's right or wrong, off the Russian technology and the Russian dependency, not only just in gas, but also in this nuclear field, the electricity generation. And that, be, that may be why so much effort has gone in from the European Commission, from the Americans. It's a form, if you like, of advanced embargoes. But engineers believe nuclear plants are constructions too delicate for drastic transitions. A nuclear reactor demands a coherent structure of operations. The active reactor core is the most dangerous when it comes to the impact it may have on people and the environment. All reactors differ in smallest details, and toying around with them leads to no good. Especially when the new partner isn't entirely compatible, and its technology found wanting. Westinghouse already put its fuel rod assemblies on Yuzhnokrainska nuclear power plant. There have been major issues after they were in use for some time. And the result, Ukraine's nuclear safety watchdog banned Westinghouse rods on the country's nuclear plants. That was just two years ago. And the incident brought Ukraine's atomic regulator and Westinghouse to loggerheads over who was to blame. But today, there seems to be short memories in Kiev. As far as I know, Westinghouse signs contracts in which the company bears no responsibility. So the burden will lie with Ukraine. Nuclear power is, of course, a force to be reckoned with, Chernobyl and Fukushima being the obvious examples. Yet Kyiv's actions seem to be dictated by politics rather than risks, even though the consequences will affect not just Ukraine, but an entire continent. In Donetsk, Irina Galushko, RT.